Right back to get you on the right side, not the wrong side. It's the Boss and the Sauce Show. And we got my man Wham OG rolling with us today. And we're going over the Mid-American Conference College Football Preview 2019 right now. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe. Make sure you follow us and also hit that notify because we got plenty of content coming out week after week. So let's jump into the Bowling Green Falcons right here in the Mid-American Conference College Football 2019 preview right here on the Boss and the Sauce show. Now, this first year coach, uh, Scott L., he's going to be a surprise to the Mac overall right here, but he's definitely going to blend in and be a nice fit for this Bowling Green school. Now, this year's offense brings back seven, and they draw the new coach who's also coming with a new system in this one. Now, obviously, the players have to adapt to the new system, the style. The quarterback from last year, he already decided to transfer because they're bringing in a run-based defense, and they're going away from a pass-heavy offense. So things are definitely going to be changing right here. The players are going to be mismatched as far as recruiting and the players that they're going to be using at this point. But the defense right here, they are SOL off top. Last year, they were giving up 448 yards per game. What can you do with a defense this year who's probably going to do the same thing right here? Now, this team I don't expect much out of overall, but I'm excited to watch it. You know, we got to watch something on those Wednesdays when college football comes on in those early games on those Thursdays. And uh, I'm usually a little itchy at that time and want to go ahead and take a shot. So I'll probably end up taking a shot with some of these MAC teams. And it's nice to know um, that this team right here in the Bowling Green is probably going to be uh, pretty much a rebuilding year from them this year. And uh, the new coach right there implementing the new system should uh, be interesting to watch. What uh, you guys think about that? Okay. Now, the coach, Scott Loeffler, he's a former Michigan quarterback, and he spent a lot of time in the college ranks. He was like back in the 90s, this guy. He's uh, started coaching college back in uh, 96, all the way to present moment. He's been all around the league. He's coached at Florida. He's coached at Central Michigan. He's coached at Michigan, mainly uh, Temple, Auburn, Virginia Tech, now Bowling Green, always as an OC or quarterbacks coach. So this guy knows how to coach quarterbacks. And not only does he know how to coach quarterbacks, but the quarterback he has, Jared Dodge, or Doge, he is the leading quarterback in the conference. How ironic is that? On a 1-7 team in the MAC last year. So the, the guy's got really some good tools to work with here. And uh, like you said, on the defensive side, they need a lot, a lot of help. And they went out and got a coordinator named Brian Van Gorder, who's coached at Georgia, Auburn, Notre Dame, Louisville and spent four seasons in the NFL. So you talk about coaches, this team has got some pretty decent coaches to coach these kids up. I'm looking for uh, a lot of stuff, you know, like you say, rebuild, re not reload, rebuild. Uh, they got seven guys on the offensive side. They got three guys on the defense. So um, I'm thinking last year's it was like a real shit show for these kids. This year is going to be nowhere but up. Nowhere but of uh, that's exactly the type of model I was thinking of right when I was looking at all the stats that they had last year. They were really ranked bottom at all defensive statistics. Unfortunately, I mean, well, not unfortunately, but uh, really re rarely that you will see a good passing defense out of these guys. They actually had a great pass defense for some strange reason. I was looking at some random numbers there, but looking into this season, it looks like they're actually um, going through a scrimmage right now while we're taping this with uh, Morgan State, the first game that they're playing. Looks like that's one of those good calls that they're probably looking at that game as just a wash up. I look to probably back them the first game and after that fade them from this that point on because this looks like a team that's probably not going to do that well in this conference with all the other up and coming teams. This is one of those moments where you have a first-year coach, and I think that this one possibly will be a bad call for them. But what you think, Big Boss? Uh, I'm, I'm not liking the offensive uh, changes that they're doing over there. I mean, we all know the, the – well, the, the MAC is sort of like a run-heavy uh, 
conference. But, uh, you know, when you record, when you recruit players to come throw and catch the ball and then you're telling them to block, that could cause a lot of different friction on the field right there. But just a note to uh, Van Gorder, because, you know, I'm a Notre Dame fan. Uh, I kind of like the guy over at Notre Dame. He's a blitz, happy um, defensive coordinator. But the thing where he clashed with Kelly over there was that um, he's kind of stuck into the way that he wants to do things. Because he, he did, he had some good success his first year uh, running the defense over there. But he's kind of stuck in his ways and what he liked to do. But uh, his caliber of coaching at this uh, level uh, might be something that uh, the Mac has to get ready for. So, do you, any of y'all got any uh, looks on uh, how many wins you expect uh, this Bowling Green team? They were three and nine last year, two and six in the conference. What do you expect uh, out of them this year? I'm looking at. Um, I give them an extra uh, five wins max, but they'll probably wow. just get. I mean, five wins total max, but they'll probably get um, three or four wins out the season. But if if, if the defense kind of works out and they adapt to the new offense <laughs> and everything goes good, then I see about uh, five wins max. How about you, Will? Man, bro, I don't know how the hell you see five wins on this schedule. I'm looking at this is at least two, at, at the most two at this point. I'm saying, like, probably the first game against Morgan State. They're running against the little brother right now. Morgan State just want to be a fighting at the table type of shit. And if you look at the rest of this schedule, man, I don't think these are one of the MAC teams that's going to do good non-conference. And then when you go back to conference, they're playing against superior teams I mean, maybe Central Michigan. That's why I think they probably will get two. But other than that, bro, I mean, I don't see it, that much wins out of here. They could get, they could get out of three. They could get three, but here, man, bro, I don't know how you see five. That's crazy. Yeah, I I gotta agree with Wham. I'm thinking two, three max. Um, the the f- game number one. That's probably gonna be the W. That's the uh, open the door, welcome home game. And then, you know, midway through the season in October, they got to play Central Michigan. Now, don't forget, they play Kansas State, Louis Tech, and then maybe a Kent State win, a little soft game uh, late September. But I see three games max on my book. I mean, I see three or four off top. Uh, you got Kent State, you got Akron, and you also got, uh, who was it, um, Central Michigan as well. More, they beat Central Michigan and yeah. Akron last year. They draw Kent State. That could be another win. They can win Morgan State. I'm saying Max, if they happen to have a good season and these two groups align together, then uh, I could see them maxing five wins. But for the most part, I'm around three or four for sure. Hey, can I ask you something real quick off off script right now? What about Notre Dame? You think they're going to beat Notre Dame? Oh, that's a, absolutely <laughs> not the, them beating Notre Dame. That's not, that's not – I don't even think that's capable, but um, – if we have a suspect season or something, which has happened before, they might pull up a lucky one, man. Notre Dame gives everybody a chance uh, to try to beat them. So I don't know. Right, a, but you yeah, can you, you can pretty yeah. much count that one a loss. <laughs> yeah, listen, it's, I'm not going to say it's like the NFL, but any given Saturday, we could say that if that happens. Absolutely. It happened to quite a few teams last year, and it could happen again this year. But this is the Boss in the Sauce show. We just went over Bowling Green in the MAC Conference 2019 preview. Let's get to the next team.